Welcome again guys in another problem solving session. In this question, it's been given that there is a quadrilateral ABCD. AO and BO are the bisectors of angle A and B. So before doing anything, let's first draw a quadrilateral. So let's say this is a quadrilateral. Okay. And let me name it as A, B, C, D. ABCD is a quadrilateral. A O and B O are the bisectors of angle A and B. Okay, so let us now try to draw bisectors. So let's say this is A O and this one should be B O. Okay, so let this point be O. Okay, so when it is a bisector, so we can easily name it as X. So this will also be X. This will be Y and this will be y because a o and b o are angle bisectors of angle a and b respectively you have to prove that a o b so this angle is a o b isn't it a o b is equal to c plus d by 2 okay so uh, at the very first step uh, the moment we see that uh, the desired result is to find sum of two angles c and d so let me just mark these angles with a different color. Let's say this is C, this is D and this is C. So we are talking about some of these two angles. Now, uh, whenever there are uh, cases where some of angles are involved, then once first thing which comes to mind is the angle sum property. So let's try and evaluate from that perspective, from that angle. Let's see whether we are able to solve this question. Now, uh, whenever uh, angle sum property of a quadrilateral is concerned more often than not angle sum property of triangle is also involved so we must be very very clear with that concept so let's say in this in this uh, case let's start from angle a o b itself Bef before that we have to do some rituals and the rituals is rituals are you have to just write all this so what is given given is a b c d is a quadrilateral is a quadrilateral now many times people are averse of writing all this but then this is a very integral part of communicating mathematics in communicating in mathematics right so hence you have to write given in geometric cases especially you have to write given and you have to also mention what is to be proved and then you proceed with your proof so abcd is a quadrilateral it's given then ao bisects so you can simplify and write bisects angle a and bo bisects angle b okay what is to prove so to prove to prove to prove angle a o b so keep in mind where is angle a o b so this is angle a o b is it angle a o b is equal to angle c plus angle d upon 2 also keep in mind this is angle d this is angle c also keep in mind where are angle c and d so you know where it is so this is c this angle is C and this angle is D. Okay. Now let's proceed further. So, so what is angle AOB, guys? So, what do we know about AOB? Let's write that first. So, AOB plus X plus Y is equal to 180 degrees, isn't it? Why? Because this is angle sum property of a triangle. Okay. AOB is equal to X plus Y is equal to 180 degrees. Now, what do we do? So since you know, uh, you will proceed with this one step at a time. So X, AOB has been uh, or AOB is there in my first equation. Now we need to you know just find out X and Y in terms of the desired uh, result that is C and D. What is X? X is nothing but angle A by two because A is being bisected by a O. Okay. Similarly, Y is angle B by two, isn't it? Isn't it? So hence equation one. So let be let it be equation one. So equation one from one you can say from one angle A O B is equal to 180 degrees minus angle A by 2 minus angle B by 2. Right? Why? Because 180 degree minus x minus y is nothing but minus a by 2 minus b by 2. Okay, very good. Now another relationship with a b and c and d what do we know so angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d is equal to 360 degrees this is known this is angle sum property of a 
quadri lateral right this is what we know already that means i can say angle a plus angle b is equal to 360 degrees minus angle c minus angle d i took angle c and d on the other side this implies i can say so uh, basically we got a plus b isn't it so hence half of angle a plus angle b and why am i doing this you'll get to know just now half into 360 degrees minus angle c minus angle d isn't it just multiplying the both sides of the equation by half okay so hence if you simplify this you'll get 180 degrees minus c or rather minus c by 2 and minus angle d by 2 isn't it so half angle a plus b is equal to this now let's say this equation was 2 and this one is 3 now you simply deploy 3 in 2 right so what will it become so angle a o b now you can write here from 2 and 3 angle a o b so this is angle a o b is equal to 180 degrees and minus a by 2 minus b by 2 can be written as angle a by 2 plus angle b by 2 the minus sign is common which is nothing but 180 degrees minus half times angle a plus angle b correct i took two common one by two common now what is this if you see this particular value we have already calculated and you can use this here so half angle a plus b is equal to this so let's make use of this particular relationship so hence what do we get i get this is nothing but 180 degrees minus half angle a plus b can be written as minus 180 degrees minus angle c by 2 minus angle d by 2 why because this item here is equal to this here right why because you check this one is same as this one isn't it so hence what is the final result so it is 180 degrees minus 180 degrees plus angle c by 2 plus angle d by 2 isn't it just multiplying by minus sign this goes off so hence you can say it is c plus angle d by 2 and if you notice this is what we wanted to find out angle c plus angle d by 2 is angle a o b so again so angle a o b is angle c plus angle d by 2 and hence i write hence proof okay so what did we learn we learned that uh, this question was totally around uh, angle sum property of triangle and a quadrilateral so hence you start with one point and then try to relate to um, that particular starting point to final desired result and we used in between the two concepts that is uh, angle sum property of a triangle and angle sum property of a quadrilateral i hope you understood the solution part thank you